Hi, my name is Jason Holmberg, and I'm a founder of the nonprofit Wild Me here in Portland, Oregon. So, Wild Me sits in a unique space for nonprofits. We are technologists who apply what we know to wildlife conservation. So, the story for Wild Me begins in 2002, actually off the coast of East Africa in Djibouti. I'm an avid scuba diver, and I was in the water with my first whale shark. Whale sharks are the biggest fish, growing up to 60 feet. And I had the unique privilege to swim with a juvenile, a small one. And when I was in the water with the whale shark, I saw that it was covered in a unique pattern of spots. And over time, I began to understand that that pattern of spots is unique to each animal, much like a human fingerprint is to us. Now, what's interesting is when you study wildlife, if you can mark each animal and repeatedly re-identify them in a study, you, you're performing a technique that's called marker capture. And marker capture is critical to developing population models both counting the number of animals you have and understanding the population trajectory. That kind of data for vulnerable, threatened, and endangered animals helps justify new conservation action. And as well, it can help measure whether conservation action is having any effect on population numbers. So this concept of identifying individual animals, as we can do with whale sharks based on their spot patterns, is actually really powerful. And that's the work of wild meat. We set up whaleshark.org, or the Wild Book for Whale Sharks online, which allows scuba divers, snorkelers, tour operators, and um, scientists in the field to collectively pool their data about individual whale sharks. And using computer vision and AI, we can re-identify individual whale sharks across the different photos, at different locations and different times, uh, as captured by people all over the globe. It's a force multiplier for, for data. We can collect a lot more data than any individual researcher can in the field. And because all of the data is in a structured study, we can actually pool that data. And wildlife researchers, especially whale shark researchers, are now collaborating all over the globe in a single site under a single data model using combined, very advanced 21st century techniques. Now, Wild Me is working on applying that technology to zebras, humpback whales, and many other species here in Portland, Oregon. Importantly, we've developed uh, what is an open source platform called Wild Book. It's a brand, it's a data management platform in the cloud, and you, with our partners at Rensselaer Polytechnic, University of Illinois, Illinois Chicago, and Princeton, it is a combined cloud data management and computer vision and, and AI platform. Basically, with a cloud of photographs, we can train computer vision how to identify individual animals from multiple species. Some, of course, are much harder than others. And we can begin marker capture projects that don't, have, that don't rely on physically tagging or invading the animal's space. We can be very humane, we can not disturb the animal in its environment. But through photography, we can engage citizen scientists and tourists, uh, as well as uh, proper scientists, in a collaborative data collection and begin performing marker capture studies at larger volumes of data. The computer vision and AI accelerate and scale what we can do and because it's all open source, in a very cash-scarce environment, which is wildlife conservation, we effectively have a co-investment model. Whoever can come up with the funding can invest in the open source, and it improves everyone. We've had funding for humpback whales benefit whale sh the whale shark research community through upgraded and new software, etc. And that's the operational model of Wild Me as open source, open data. And what's interesting about the open data concept is that as we've developed whaleshark.org and been able to take advantage of citizen science, we've seen an increase in collaboration. The traditional silos of academia have fallen away because now individual researchers have so much data, they don't even want to dream of stealing anybody else's data. They have too much on their own. And so they begin collaborating, trying to find new ways to more scalably process the data, to share, to work together, and come up with new analyses. All of this is the work of Wild Meat. This is what we're trying to achieve. Employing professional IT staff and trying to pay them a market wage is challenging, but somehow we're surviving. We're bootstrapping ourselves as a nonprofit and actually making progress in creating this platform that migrates a lot of wildlife research groups out of, my, out of Microsoft Access and Excel, 1990s technology, and into this 21st century platform of computer vision, AI, cloud-based data management that really enables big data, citizen science, uh, application of AI, that's who we are as Wild Me, and I really hope you can join us in our journey to effectively modernize an entire field of practice, which is wildlife conservation.